Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to how to instantiate and destroy a prefab clone tutorial. It's really easy. It's only a few lines of code and uh, let's just flip flop over right into it. So here's what we're going to cover. We're going to create a C sharp script. We're going to create an empty game object for a script. Create a public game object. Uh, create a game object for a prefab. Make it appear destroyed after a few seconds. Uh, and then we're going to test it and then we'll add a shoot button. Then we'll probably test it again. And then uh, we'll destroy the clone so it doesn't sit around and waste all your unit resources. Okay. Oh, so here we go. Let's see what happens. Uh, first thing you can do, create a C sharp script. Never JavaScript, remember that. Call it my kick ace prefab. And then um, click on that. And we'll get all this out of the way real quick. And the first thing, remember, we need a public game object to um, hold our prefab, what we want to instantiate. We'll call it my kick ass prefab because that's what it is. And then we need a game object. And to keep things clear, I like to um, be very specific when I name my variables, but to each their own. Prefab clone. That way we know this is the actual prefab. This is for the actual prefab, and this is for the actual clone. And then um, to make things simple, we'll do it when we start the script, and we'll fix that later. And we're going to go, uh, my kick ass, get out of the way, clone, my kick ass prefab clone. So this is what we're going to actually instantiate. It's equal to instantiate. And what are we going to instantiate? We're going to instantiate this. Remember, this is our prefab clone. So we're making an instance of our prefab clone. And we're doing that because if later when we want to destroy that, if we just instantiate the actual prefab, we'll get um, an error. It won't let you do it. So you have to make another instance of, of you make an instance of the prefab, which is the my kickass prefab clone. That doesn't make any sense. Call the pirates. And so now we're just saying where do we want to instantiate it? And um, you need to put as a game object, otherwise you'll get an error. Um, so let's see what happens. There's a script. Waiting for everything to update. See the little mysterious wheel spinning around down there in the corner. And uh, we need to create an empty game object. Uh, my kick ass prefab instantiator. I don't even know if I spelled that right. Instantiator. Doesn't matter. That's not right. Doesn't matter. Everything matters. Uh, you know what? I don't even know how to spell it. That's what happens when you drink too much coffee. Click and drag your kick-ass prefab instantiator script right there. So here's where we add our prefab, which we don't have yet. So I forgot to add that in notes, but I created an empty 3D object. Let's make it a sphere. Have no, have no sphere. The sphere is here. And for our kicks and giggles, add a uh, add a rigid body to it so we get some gravity, some physics going on. And we don't have, we currently don't have a prefab folder, so let's just make one. Um, call it prefabs. And um, to make an easy way to make a prefab, just click it, drag it over there, and you got your prefab. When it's a prefab, who's got the mysterious blue box? I don't know why they chose the color blue. I have no idea why. Go back to our instantiator, click and drag our sphere over there. Now, since the script is on there and we had it in the start method, uh, it should just appear. Let's see, where's it at? Let's make sure it's not interfering with anything. Put up above his head. So when we push start, it should, it should appear if all works. And it fell on his head and the guy is coming after. Oh, back, back. This is what happens. It worked. So we don't want that to do that all the time we start. So we'll do an update script, update method. And we'll say if we push a certain button, then we'll, we'll uh, make this bad boy appear. 
cut and paste that over. Let's name it. Um, let's do input. Get key down. And what key? What's it called? We'll do. Uh, I think we're using space for jump already, so we'll use. Um, I don't think we're using D. Could be wrong, but we'll put D for now. So all you're saying right here is you say if you push the D button, the D key, you're gonna stand straight. You kick ass prefab. Let's see what happens. It's it's going and uh, oh look at that, it's working. But see what the problem is. There's two problems. One, it's not attached to our dude. The other problem is look at this. You're making a tower of balls. There's a ball tower. Let's see what happens. We run into it. What happens? Ball tower. Oh, and the balls came tumbling down. It's raining balls. It's raining balls all over balls. Okay, well, that's cool and everything, but we don't want to do that. So we want to destroy it. So use destroy. And what are we going to destroy? Well, it says right here we're going to, we want to destroy what we instantiated, which is my kick ass prefab. But <clears throat> when? How long? Three seconds. You can see it's the object. I was I just pointed at the screen like you're here. Object is what we're gonna destroy, which is my kick ass prefab clone, and float the time, three seconds. So if we push D, we'll instantiate a ball, and then we'll destroy it after three seconds. We'll see if it works. Playtesting is fun for everyone. Fun. Boom 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 balls. Does it work? Oh look, it worked. It's like magic. This red guy's mad as he's a mad person. Like a mad pill chasing me around. One more thing though, the balls are just instantiating in the same spot. So let's go to to our little dude. And where's our prefab holder? So let's try make this a child of that rod, which I believe is that capsule. And you want this maybe more specific, name it capsule rod, because rod's a pretty cool dude. And we'll move that over to the tip of that rod. Right there, looks, looks, that's where it happens, right? Move it down a little bit. It's kind of a big ball too. So, um, instantiate, we'll parent it, and we'll make a child of capsule rod. And now, let's see what happens. It should shoot from the tip, red man's He's mad. Oh, he's throwing balls. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. He's crazy. Oh, he's loaded. He is fully loaded. He's jumping around. Oh, although you can't see it, uh, the camera is kind of a poor spot, but it's happening. How do we know it's happening? Look at this. Watch this. Go back down here. It happens. Oh, look at this. 